in here pretty good and uh, I'm just gonna take the baggage off and try and pull her back looking very good she's stuck in there real good I almost got her out just have to pull her back a little more <sighs> I got her out and while I was sitting here Panting away, taking a rest, I noticed this little skid mark here, which goes up to this very tiny little workaround, which I think I'm going to give a try. I think I'll do it before I put all the gear on. And I forgot to record it. It actually went quite well. I didn't film it while I was doing it on the bike, but I can at least show it to you. Like so. Now, wonder what's on this side. Bumper? Climbing probably means the end of mud. <sighs> All right, get the rest of the stuff, reload, head out. That was a lot of work and kind of scary. At first I couldn't get her to move out of that mud at all. Teach me to go stick in my front wheel in places where I don't know how soft and deep it is. Well, I'm just around the corner from the mud trap, and it's a very steep gully that I got stopped in. I'm starting to think this is above my pay grade. I'll try walking her, but I think that's iffy. This is gonna fry my clutch. <sighs> Calling it quits. I walked up the trail a bit and it keeps going like this. And I'm afraid of frying the clutch. And uh, it's not fun anymore. So it's time to turn around, which will not be easy, but I think I can do it. So, Sitting here with the bike, lying on the hill, trying to get the energy to lift it up, and uh, thinking I'm in a bit of a situation here. I gotta lift this bike. I'm tired, and uh, it's very hot. And then I gotta get down and go back over all of that stuff. I don't necessarily have to do it. Today, I could camp somewhere, but yeah, definitely feeling like I'm in a bit of a... Went too far. So just resting for a bit and then I'll see if I can get her upright. 
couple of quad guys came along. Coming the opposite direction and they helped me lift the bike. Took all my gear down to the bottom, which helped a lot. So I'm back down and heading back through Mud Lakes. There's a rolled truck there. Up. Broke one mirror. The other one's loose. Fabulous views though. Yeah, this thing is beyond me, even on a small bike. Just too uh, too steep, too scrabbly. Glad I turned around when I did, because I'm pretty tired. But hopefully, I think that one was the worst hill. There's still a few more to get out of here, but uh, feeling better now that I got off that hill. I don't have many more drops left in me. Too tired. I feel like it was all fairly straightforward from here. It is 3.15. Getting pretty tired. But I really need some more water. I might even go back to either that Lake Tyax is on or, uh, or the one I was at last night. It was very, very nice. I don't know. Let's see where I get to. It's easy going now after all of that madness around Mud Lakes. So I'm feeling much better. Marshall, Marshall Lake, maybe, FSR, decided to go this way. This will pop, pop us out mm, on Carpenter Lake, sort of three quarters of the way to the Terzaghi Dam, and then I can make my way down to Lillooet. That's Carpenter Lake. Hmm. Marshall Lake.
pretty nice. Pretty dramatic drop down into Carpenter Lake here. Three big RVs crossing it. Five rental RVs, climbing Mission Pass. 